Ramdam na ramdam ko talaga yung kababohan ko dito. <laughs> so this vlog is gonna be all about my pain rotation and I'll try to take you along with me in the hospital as well. If I can, maybe. I'll try my best. If you're new here, my name is Aura. I'm a first-year family medicine resident and I'm doing my residency here in North Dakota in the US. I'm a foreign medical graduate. So what am I gonna do? Like I said, I just got home from the hospital, so I have to like clean up. I have to take a bath before I go anywhere else in my apartment. Really not sure how helpful this is, but uh, I do it anyway. Oh my gosh, did I close my garage door? Wait. Oh, I didn't. So this is my garage door opener and closer. And uh... I just disinfect my pager. Hopefully, it does something. Okay, I'm almost done with my dinner. Sorry, I forgot that I was trying to vlog. Mm. I'm so hungry. So, I went home already, even though I'm not yet done with my uh, admit note. We had a last minute, last minute kind of admission. Um, I can just finish that in my computer here at home. Uh, maybe I'll show you later. Ay, bawal pala. Pero maybe uh, I'll show you my video typing. Okay, I just got paged. <laughs> Possible rash to abdomen on our new admission. And uh, I'm not on call tonight. But I did kind of chat with the nurse and said, I'll see you tomorrow. So I was like, I think I gave her the impression that I'm on call the whole weekend. But my call starts tomorrow, so I have to call her back right now. Good thing we can call the nurse station from our cell phones. So, and we can also do our charts from home. Although we typically don't, but yeah, work from home din kami. <laughs> Hi, good morning guys. It's already Saturday morning. I'm on my way to the hospital. We have uh, 8 a.m. rounds. It's just me and the attending. And the, uh, there's only one hospitalist on call during the weekend. And um, this happens to be my call weekend. So I'm going to the hospital now. And I actually have to visit the patients first before meeting with the attendings. So yeah. Luckily, there were no new admissions last night, so I already know all the patients there. For the rest of the day, I guess they'll just call me if there are any new admissions. Okay, let's go. Bye, see you later. Hey guys, I'm done for the day. Wait, let me hold this properly. It's uh, before lunch time. I'm done for the day. Um, might as well grab my lunch here in the cafeteria because it's free. <laughs> and then I'll head home and then if there are any more admits, then I'll go back to the hospital. Hopefully there will be no more admissions because... So that I can enjoy the rest of my weekend somehow. Yeah, so on my way back to the parking, I always pass by this uh, hallway in the basement. And uh, like I mentioned in my stories before, it has these extra beds and stuff that's like in Grey's Anatomy. So I could probably cry there or something. So when I get in the car, I always just put um, hand sanitizer. I reapply my uh, lip balm. Oh my gosh, there's a bee. Okay, it's outside. Then I spray my face with this mist. <laughs> Which also has SPF 50, so I'm kind of reapplying my sunscreen. 
Okay, so I'm home and usually I would uh, just go straight to the bathroom and uh, change. But I just got paged and now I'm wondering, do I have to go back? It's kind of still pending for now. But anyway, <laughs> COVID. Anyway, so this is what I got from our cafeteria for lunch. Um, salad and uh, <laughs> I don't even know what uh, Sloppy Joe's is or are. I read it on the menu, Sloppy Joe's, and I'm like, yeah, I'll get Sloppy Joe's. I don't even know what Sloppy Joe's is. But apparently, it's like a sandwich with a meat, beans, I don't know. I even got this a fancy uh, fruit drink. It's I know this is expensive, but I used my badge. <laughs> my badge gives me food allowance, so I'm not really counting how much I spent for all this food. Uh, so I wanted to talk about my peds rotation. A lot of you guys know that it's... Well, I was supposed to go for peds instead of family med. I went into med school thinking that I'll become a pediatrician. But anyway, that changed and I don't regret it at all. But needless to say, I was very excited for this rotation. And I'm glad that it's one of my firsts. Actually, technically, it's my first hospital rotation. So I really learned a lot. Like most of the administrative behind the scenes stuff that a doctor does, I had to learn it, and I learned it slowly in this rotation the past month. Things like uh, rounding on patients by yourself and then with the attending, um, putting in progress notes, making an admit note, putting in admit orders, making a discharge note or a transfer of service note, and then putting those orders as well, monitoring their vitals, their labs, their input and outputs, in the past 24 hours using EPIC, the um, electronic health record. I had to learn all of those and uh, I'm glad because for peds, we're not super busy. Like we only have zero to two patients. Yeah, some days we had no patients on our service at all. So I was able to take it slow and really I took my time <laughs> writing my notes and uh, exploring stuff on the computer. So that was good. I'm glad that they allowed me to uh, ease into everything. Rounds with the attending starts at 8 a.m. So I have to be at the hospital before 8 a.m., typically around 7, so I can do my own rounds on my patients first. So I report to my attending and then we'll discuss the case. Typically, the attending will ask us questions to gauge what we think. I mean, they try not to spoon feed us with the uh, plan. So at first, I was just lost. Like, <laughs> like I have a vague idea of what to say, but I wasn't very confident in saying it yet. In short, guys, tagalog para tayo lang magkaintindihan. <laughs> Wala talaga akong alam. That's how I felt. Ramdam na ramdam ko talaga yung kababuhan ko dito. <laughs> and then eventually, I woke up and I realized I have to step up my game. Okay, back to the story. And then I realized that uh, this residency environment really is a no judging zone. It's really a learning environment. So might as well see what's on your mind, right? If you really don't know, then uh, you should read up the night before. So eventually I learned to do that and our discussions have become more fruitful when I started engaging. Sorry. And also at first, I was super shy when talking to patients and I have to do my rounds on them and I wouldn't wake them up like, that's so stupid. <laughs> I really, I just, but anyway, I'm learning. I got off track, but anyway, that's usually what we do in the morning. We do rounds. When we're done with the inpatient peds stuff, then we can head over to the nursery. The nursery is where the newborn healthy babies are. So we also have to check them two times. They allowed me to do a supervised circumcision, so that's good. I'm used to doing circumcision on uh, preteen boys, like 10 to 12 years old in the Philippines, right? That's our culture. But here, they typically do it as newborns. So I got to do uh, the Gomco method and observe the Plastibel method. So yeah, once we're done with nursery and we have no other admissions for the day, then we spend our afternoons in the uh, Peds outpatient clinic. And the majority of these visits are well child visits. These are very routine, uh, just happy visits.
So, sorry, I got hungry. A part of me is uh, sad because we didn't get a lot of patients. Like some days we had zero, so we didn't even have to go to morning rounds. But also, I can't complain because I'm not very fast at doing things yet. And I really needed to start with a slow pace. And uh, my feeds rotation allowed me to do that. I'll keep on updating. I'll find time. Maybe once a month, twice, or once every two months. I don't know. But I'm just also documenting this for myself because I want to look back and uh, see what I was feeling or thinking or experiencing when I started residency. I hope I didn't forget anything. Huh. Anyway, I'm gonna have another month of peds. It's my last rotation as an intern, as a first year. So hopefully we'll have more patients then. Hopefully COVID is over by then or we'll see. Hi. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye!